Everybody welcome St. Joseph's College Lucan. Hello and welcome to 6 o'clock news. I'm Dahi O'Shea. The main news tonight is only 3,984 hours to go to the Rose of Tralee. Exciting stuff. In other news, CARES are protesting outside Leinster House in relation to the recent cutbacks to CARES allowance. Over to you, Ursula. Ursula Halligan reporting from outside Leinster House, where a group of carers are protesting about the recent cutbacks that Dr James Riley, Minister for Health, issued earlier this week. He said that these cutbacks were unfortunate but necessary. How do you feel about the recent cutbacks? I should be at home right now. I can't believe I'm standing outside Leinster House on a Wednesday afternoon. All I have to do at home. Poor Mammy will be wondering where I am. This whole thing is just ridiculous. Dr Riley, you have a meeting. Has my spa appointment been booked yet? And how do you feel about the recent cutbacks? I live on 204 euro a week. How can I cover the cost of food, heating and electricity? The budget has reduced my allowance from 220 euro to 204. When will it all end? What am I doing here? Hello. I'll have the table beside the window and I take my steak medium rare. Now let's hear from a person being cared for. No one sees what they do, the sacrifices they've made, their own lives on hold. I know she doesn't like me to bring it up, but does the government not realise that I wouldn't be here without her? Does no one care for the carers? And there you have it, an insight into the lives of the carers. Seems that Dr James Riley has failed to show his face. Dr Riley, Hold on a second, I'm tweeting. Hello, has my iPad arrived yet? Hold on a sec, another call. Ursula Halligan, TV3 News, any comments? Um, Hello Ursula, it's sad to see so many people gathered here today, but it's a necessary cutback. We're in a recession, you know? So about my Ferrari. Carers, who cares? Not Dr. James Riley by the sounds of it. Ursula Halling, TV3, wait! Breaking news is coming in of carers taking matters into their own hands. This report comes straight from the, from the kitchen of carer Mary Kelly who was using the website careswhocare.webs.com, which was created by six transition year students. Carers can give suggestions and share their stories on this online forum. Dear carers, would anyone suggest where I could take my mother who has Alzheimer's? Dear Mary, I'm in the same position. Went to the Botanic Gardens recently. Found it a real treat. Check out my video. Thanks, Anne. We're planning a trip there for this weekend. Careswhocare.webs.com A simple yet innovative idea. Ursula Halligan, TV3 News.